Before you begin, you'll need to turn your power off at the circuit breaker. Confirm the power is off by flipping the switch you're going to replace on and off. Typically, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a piece of electrical tape to do the job. First, unscrew your existing switch from the wall. On a standard three-way switch, you should have three wires connected to the switch plus a ground wire. Make sure that you have a neutral wire connection in the wall. Most newer, mid-80s homes on have neutrals in each wall box, which are usually white wires in the back of the box. If you don't have a neutral wire, check the installation guide to see if the neutral wire is required. This connection is optional for some products. Please note, after you replace the switch, you'll need to make a small change to the wiring in the other location. Before disconnecting your old switch, look at the screw colors on the sides of the switch. Use a piece of electrical tape to tag the wire connected to the screw that is a different color than the remaining two. Knowing which wire this is will be important when installing your new dimmer. Use a wire cap to connect the ground to the green wire on your new control. If you do not have a ground wire in this wall box, simply place a cap on the green wire on the dimmer. Connect the tagged wire to the black wire on the dimmer using a wire cap. Connect the other two wires from the switch to the red and blue wires on the dimmer. It's important to know the color of the wire you connected to the blue wire, so choose a color different than the other two wires. For example, here we are choosing the red wire. Then connect the white wire to the neutral wires in your wall box, if applicable. If you do not have a neutral wire in the wall box and your installation guide states the neutral connection is optional, simply place a wire cap on the white wire on your new control. Screw the controls back into the wall and add the wall plates. Now, you'll need to change the wiring in the other switch location. Before turning the power back on, unscrew the other switch from the wall. Use a piece of electrical tape to tag the wire connected to the different colored screw, similar to the first location. Determine which color wire is connected to the blue wire in the first location. Leave this wire connected to the switch and leave the ground connected, but remove the two remaining wires. Note, one of these should be the tagged wire.
Connect the included yellow jumper wire with the tagged wire and the other wire you just removed from the switch under a single wire cap. Connect the other end of the yellow wire to the different colored screw on the switch, where the tagged wire was originally connected. Screw the controls back into the wall and add the wall plates.